Raymond Reach. Customer complaint is when you lift up, it barely lifts. And then, when he's trying to go back down, but when you let go, it droops down. And if you try to bump the lift up again, the first thing it does is go down. Okay, in order for us to determine if it's going to be a mechanical or an electrical issue, we will disconnect while we're lifting. We are going to disconnect our uh, control line for the proportioning valve. Okay, try to lift. Hit the lift. Okay, it's not lifting right now. Let me pull this cable right here. Go ahead, it's the lift. Okay, stop. And it holds. So that to me now is telling me that this is an electrical issue and not a mechanical or hydraulic issue. Okay, so what we did is we hooked up to the proportioning solenoid, proportioning valve, which is the solenoid that goes into the lower. We measured it, hooked up the oscilloscope, and you see the pulsing here, but there would be portions of it that it would just give it straight negative. Okay, let me run this again. Try to operate it. You see that? It's straight negative all throughout. So that shouldn't be happening. It should always be pulsing. So right now, we're doubting that the BM is shot on this. So at least a driver in the BM. Vehicle manager was already replaced. This truck is working. But there's something that I did not mention before. Uh, before the uh, VM was replaced. So if you remember the um, problem we were having before is that it would barely go up and then even if it goes up or at a certain level, when you bump it to go up, the carriage would, uh, would actually go down first before actually trying to go up. So looking at the hydraulic schematic, right? If this is open, of course, everything from the pump would be dumped back to the tank, but when you're already at a certain height and you're trying to race up again even though the hydraulic from the pump is going here the only way that the carriage is going to go down is if that load hold solenoid is being held open so that's the part that we did not check before but for sure looking at the diagram the only way that the carriage is going to drop down when you're trying to bump it to go up is if that solenoid is open. Okay, so I already hooked up the oscilloscope. Channel A, which is the blue trace, is going to be on our um, load holding solenoid. And channel B is going to be on our uh, lip lower solenoid. Okay, so we're going to run this. Um, I'm going to focus you on the screen and see what happens when we try to lift Let's it up. Let's just confirm that first that the problem is already gone. Lift. Okay. Okay, holds. Let me try to bump it up. It doesn't drop anymore. And then we lower. So, this is what it looked like on the screen. Let me pause this for a sec. Let's go back. Okay, this is where I started. So remember that the uh, red is going to be our uh, lip lower solenoid. As you can see, when I started to lip, it's only the lip lower solenoid that is getting a signal from the VM and not the um, load holding valve, so keeping it closed. But when you see here, this is where I maxed out our... Um, Low, uh, lifting you see that it completely shut the lip lower solenoid so that all the hydraulic coming from the pump is going to go into the cylinder that's your high speed but look at when I try to lower it so this is where I try to lower it again and you see that the load hold solenoid is being activated so basically it's opening up the passage to go back to the tank and also the lip lower solenoid